Yo, Elliot. Hey, so we got a question about back pain, healing back pain from our friend uh, GTA SA Jackass, and he goes on to say that he's uh, he's 17. He plays Xbox for many hours a day, and uh, the way he sits down, he, he hunches over, is causing a situation where his back is in pain. So, he made the wise decision to join a gym, start working out. He's been doing deadlifts and, uh, and a couple other exercises. He says here, nothing seems to work. Now, he's getting vis visual changes in the musculature of his back. It looks, you know, he's like he's building some thickness back there. But his posture has not been affected by the exercises in the gym. In fact, things are only getting worse. He doesn't know what to do. So here's the first thing that I want you to recognize, everybody, is that there is a normal curvature in the three areas of your spine. So you should know that you've got your cervical, your thoracic, and your lumbar spine, right? It go, looks like this, right? That's kind of like what your, your spine should look like. You've got a lordosis, kyphosis, and a lordosis of the neck, right? Boom, boom, boom. There should be about a 30 degree curve in each one of those, right? A normal person would have about 30 degrees, not exactly 30 degrees, but you know, between 20 and 40 degrees. When you abuse yourself by playing video games for too long or just sitting in a, a deteriorated posture for several hours a day, you start to throw that, those curvatures off and you end up having pain in one of those three particular areas. Some people have shoulder, neck pain, oh, I'm all screwed up and tight and tense in my neck, they get headaches and all types of shit. Some people, it's their low back, oh, it's got low back pain. So what they do is, they go and they attack, work with, get physical therapy, put like the little electric stimulation things on that particular area, right? So if you're having low back pain, you're gonna go and do low back exercises. You're gonna go and zero in on the low back by doing deadlifts or hyper extensions and things like that. But what you need to realize, this is very tricky, is that as you change the curvature of one portion of your spine, you will also change the curvature of the other portions of the spine. So, for example, if you have very little curve in your low back because you've been sitting with a slumped posture and your butt is tucked under, right? You have maybe, say, a 10% curve in your low back. That's gonna cause a situation, right, where your upper back, your thoracic portion of your spine is going to have like 60% curve, right? They've all got to equal, equal out to like 90, for example. So you got 60, you got one degree, 10 degrees down here, and then you've got so that maybe 20 degrees up in your neck, so you've got a flat neck, right? This is how our postures deteriorate. This is how most of us look. So you go and you go and you work to hyperextend your low back, create some sort of a curvature. You're seeing visible, visible changes perhaps and increase that curve so that it's no longer 10%, it's now 20, perhaps 30%. You also have to deal with the thoracic spine and decreasing its curvature. So remember I said that I had about a 30 degree curve. So you've got to not only work on the low back, Right? by doing the hyperextensions and stuff, but you also got to work on thoracic extension. Your deadlift is it's, it's a great exercise if you're doing it properly because it's going to work, especially if you do it the way that I teach people with the positioning of the neck. It's going to work on strengthening the position of your cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine. Very, very important. Especially if you use a stick, like I show people in one of my older videos. I did, I, there's a video up, I think from maybe June or July, where I was teaching a kid in one of my workshops, a young man in one of my workshops, how to deadlift, and I had a stick on his back. I was holding a stick like this. And the reason why I had that there is because there was a normal curvature that I wanted him to maintain such that the stick would always be touching the back of his head, the middle of his back, and his butt, right? So I think the take, obviously that was a rant, I was trying to explain something brand new to you guys that you may not be aware of, but the take, -a -home, the take home point for you is that you're going to have to consider three portions of your back in order to strengthen it fully and bring the curvature back to normal. There are so many guys that have big muscular backs, but their curvature is so thrown off, it's ridiculous, you know? They, they just look like big gorillas. Their heads are sticking forward, they've got big just humps on their back, and they're hyperextending their low back. The butt looks like it's, you know, it, the, 
the pelvis tilts forward so much that the butt looks like it's gonna reach up towards their uh, shoulder blades. It looks ugly. You have tons of muscle, but it looks crappy and you feel like shit. I guarantee you feel like shit. You're heading down that path. Focus on corrective exercises, corrective stretches. I talk about these things all the time. Search my channel or buy one of my advanced video products where I teach you about this. I teach you these ideas that I'm presenting with you right, presenting you with right now. And I show you how to assess and correct them. So that's it, my man. Good luck. You've got to consider that it's not just one exercise is not going to do it for you. You got to deal with the back at the low, lower portion, which also includes the hips. The whole body is one freaking thing, right? You can't deal with one thing without dealing with the other because you can't fix the hips without considering what's happening at the feet, right? So I'm just making your problem much more complicated. Anyway, consider the low back, mid back, and the neck, shoulder, th uh, cervical region when you're dealing with correcting your situation. Good luck. Yo, Elliot.